I, I can't even do that, I'm sorry. I was trying to act like um, the characters in the show. <laughs> because in this episode of Red Dwarf, known as Backwards. Well, what actually happened in this episode, though? Well, in this episode, the crew traveled to an alternate Earth where time runs backwards. Meaning, if this video would be, if it was backwards, this will be the beginning of it. So, yeah. Take it for that, will you will. So, um, I gotta say, this idea, like, you know, like, there's always been the idea of in science fiction, whether, like, say, what if we landed in a place where everything was backwards, or things were, like, you know, backwards and all that. Um, and plus this is episode, the first episode of season three. Um, and this was also the first episode of the regular appearance of Robert Lewin's Clayton. And also, uh, the character of Holly, because, um, Holly and the character of Paul didn't come back for season 3. Mostly because he was kind of busy and all that. Um, I gotta say, honestly, the, the ideas that in this episode are honestly pretty funny. Like, whether it is, like, say, the fact that the universe finds it funny that, okay, instead of, like, say, humor that is, instead of backwards, it's forwards. Like, Here's a man eating an egg. And all that. I just had to say, like, one of the grosser jokes is at the end of the episode where Cat has to go to the bathroom and I'll, like, say... Because, you know, the, everything is backwards, so not only is that, not only is it gross, but at the same time, that would be very, that'd probably be very strange and painful. And, uh, I gotta say, like, the big whole ball, uh, ballroom brawl was actually kind of funny. Oh, at first I feel like saying, Maybe I should put Ballroom Blitz over the, uh, the, uh, thing? But why not? Oh, yeah! It was like lightning! Everybody was frightening! And the music was soothing! And they all started moving! Yeah, 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 yeah. In the mind of the back said everyone attacked and they turned into a Ballroom Blitz And the girl in the corner said bye it's actually, I still think it's kind of funny to do that. It's over, it's overused. Honestly, but it's funny. I do have to say, when it, the jokes, when everyone is eating, like, say, it's funny, but at the same time, I feel like, say, like, because then at the same time, I feel like, say, whenever they eat, eating something, I feel like, okay, let's not go too far, because that's going to get gets gross. Um, because that both, um, not Holly, but, uh, Rimmer and Crichton, basically they are, uh, have like a comedy crew, uh, like taking, like the jokes I already explained, and, uh, Kat and Lister, basically they end up going there to try to find them. Oh, Santa Claus, what a bastard. <laughs> Well, he's just a big fat git who sneaks down chimneys and steals all the kids' favourite toys. What fight? We didn't start any fight. What's he saying? I can't tell the gas saw at all. How smart is your bud with that? Basically, after, like, uh... 
uh, Dave gave birth to the twins. Uh, yeah, I remember he was father. Oh yeah, and this video is coming out on Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day, uh, everyone. And, I mean, yeah, I gotta say, for an, a season one premiere, uh, for a season episode premiere of season three, it's actually pretty funny, honestly. And I gotta say that, um, Katie Hayridge, hey she does a good job in the fact that this is the second appearance of her character, but she does a good job of keeping her character, you know, you can say, oh, okay, so this is our new, um, replacement for Holland. Hall. But, um, overall, I gotta say, this episode was pretty dating. I liked it. See you later.